the DPP did not give any reason why he decided to discontinue the charges against Dr. Chinji, who had sold interest in running for the presidency in the February 18th polls. In today's proceedings, Prosecutor Kamuli told the court that they had a list of evidence including laptops, mobile phones, motorcycles, Western Union money transfers, travel documents, among other pieces of evidence to pin the other remaining suspects when the actual trial starts. On the first side, lawyer Fred Muema raised several issues, but core to them was the prosecution had since refused to disclose lists of statements that they intend to use at the trial when it starts. Muema also asked the court to stay the proceedings on grounds that there is a constitutional court application challenging this trial and the refusal by the DPP to disclose the evidence to the defense. The remaining 31 suspects were set to plead to the charges. Notable among the remaining 31 suspects is the leader of Tablik sect Yunus Kamoga. Several Muslim faithful have camped at the high court premises as they wait the outcome of the proceedings. The suspects are accused of being behind the wave of murder of top Muslim clerics in the country early last year, including the murder of Sheikh Mustafa Bahinga at Wewaja along Entebbe Road, Sheikh Abdullah Kadir Muwaya in Mayuge District, and Sheikh Hassan Kiria of Weogerere in Wakiso District.